How y'all doing? Uh, see my doctor's war wound here. <laughs> um, so I think my last video was October 21st. Um, I wish I could come and say I had good news, but I don't. Um, so October 22nd, I found out that I had cancer. Yep, have cancer. Fucking sucks. Um, um, it destroyed me. I plan on making another video sooner than this. Hopefully if it was good news, but it wasn't. Um, it took me a couple weeks to wrap around my mind that I had cancer. Um, my <clears throat> I'm sorry. My family was, you know, not in a good place when they found out either. Um, and that's where I'm at now, man. Like, uh, I got good news and bad news. That was the bad. I mean, good news is during this whole time I've been away. It's almost, it's been a month and about a week, I guess. Um, I got staged around like November 5th. So a couple weeks after I got the diagnosis that I had lymphoma. That's what I have, lymphoma. I have a rare form of lymphoma. Um, and it's kind of, kind of funny, not funny, nothing about cancer is funny, but in my case, this was kind of funny. Um, cause me and my wife, when I went to go get the diagnosis, uh, he said, you know, you have not the diagnosis. I'm sorry. When I had my first, um, uh, oncologist, uh, visit. When I first visited with my oncologist, he said, yeah, um, you have uh, lymphoma. Um, you have a rare form of lymphoma. And he said rare. Time froze for like literally me and my wife. We started crying like because I'm thinking rare. And then you think cancer. So, you know, you're about to find out you have a rare cancer. So, you know, you you you, you figure it out. But he was like, um you have a rare form of lymphoma and this form is generally more treatable than other forms of lymphoma. Um, I can't think about what it's called at the moment. <laughs> I've had a long day. I had another, I had a procedure today. Um, as you can see the, this bandage, I was put on anesthesia. Um, I basically, they put the scope down my mouth to check every, my stomach, my esophagus, and all that. And then they put the scope up my butt. So, it's not a pleasant day. And I'm still feeling it. Feeling the effects of the, the sedation. Um, yeah, so like I said, he said time, he said that I have a rare form and time froze. I think it's like predominant nodule, nodule, nodule. Um, lymphoma. Yeah. It's like an abbreviation for it. It's like NHL or NLHPL. I think that's what it is. NLHPL. You guys can look that up. I'm not a big YouTuber. I'm just here talking to people that go through stuff like me. You know, I don't have all the great edited videos and all that. I'm just real live and direct, man. Um... So, he said that. We we kind of like bust out in tears. I'm thinking like, this is it. This is it for me. He said, I had a rare cancer. Then he explained it. And then, so we're sort of like, oh, oh, okay. But, you know, at the end of the day, you still leave and then you, you have cancer. Like, there's no, there's no way to get around that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care what type of cancer it is. You know, I don't care if it was, I had cancer of the eyebrows like you know it doesn't matter like it's cancer so um i got staged never big win stage one stage one 
the day that I got that news, I, I'm not that big of a religious person. I believe in something, as I said before, and I have been praying ever since I got the diagnosis. That's because the biggest, the biggest stage of when you find out you have cancer is the staging. Finding out you have cancer is a huge blow, but waiting for the staging is the worst thing I've ever felt in my life. When I went in there, man, I'm trying to tell you, I was frightened. My wife was frightened. She was holding my hand tight. We were scared. We still had hope. We had faith, but none of that matters when, you know, your life's on the line and you don't know what's going to happen. And I, I remember when I got in that office, um, before I seen the oncologist, his one of his nurses gave me the results of my PET scan, CT scan. And they were using some terms in there that I didn't quite understand. But it had said something about heart, lungs, um, stomach, liver, kidneys. And I like freaked out, had a full blown panic attack. Me and my wife didn't understand it. We thought we thought it was Sam. And keep in mind he hadn't come seen us. They were just he didn't come see us yet. They had just given us this information for us to be prepared for when he walked in the room. So we're we're crying like I'm thinking, we're thinking that they're saying that the cancer is in all those places. You got cancer in all those places, man. It's it's almost it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's you can fight the good fight, but when it spreads to so many different organs like that, it's not good. But um, of course I was reading it wrong. Me and her was reading it wrong. He came in the room. We're crying. He's like, "Why? Why are you guys crying?" Um, he's and then and we was like, "What does this mean? You know, what does this mean?" He was like, "It means nothing. You're fine. You're good. Your cancer's only." in that right armpit. So we're like, oh. <laughs> like, are you serious? And he was like, yes. Literally, besides having my kids, that was the, the most impactful news I've had or the most impactful day I've had in my entire life. He told me it's only in one spot. I can't tell you. Now we're not even crying because we're scared or sad. We're crying because we're happy. Yes, it is cancer. But it's very, very beatable. The form I have. And then he was explaining to me that the first time I seen him, he was like, you have a slow growing cancer. Only thing I was scared about is it's slow growing, but... The lymph node that they removed was so big that I assumed I could have had this thing for five, six years. He said, because it grows really, really slow. And that thing was like a golf ball size. So, you know, I'm fearing I've had this for some, for some years and it had spread. But no, God has me. God had me. Family had me. Friends had me. I wasn't going to tell anyone, none of my friends. Um... My wife convinced me to tell him the day before the staging. So that's what I did. I asked for their support and their prayers. And I can't say it didn't work, man. Like, um, So it's an ongoing battle. Uh, I believe today is, could be wrong, is it November 27th or November 28th? I don't know. One of the days. Um... I had, I had so many tests that um, I'll probably talk about it in another video um, about what the treatment's going to be because I really don't know that yet. I'm getting a second opinion just to make sure because uh, right now they just want to do local radiation in that on in that armpit to, to kill those. Um, 
like I said, PET scans were clear besides the underarms. I just had the um, the two scopes. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Kalana something? I don't know. Uh, and the EDG or EGD. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still off the anesthesia, man. Like, my mind is... It is weird. My legs feel weird. Everything's just it's just crazy. Um But those were clear. I got those results right then and there. Uh my gastrologist was just like There's no cancer in your butt, there's no cancer in your stomach, there's no cancer in your esophagus, the PET scans wasn't lying. Um the reason I got those scans is because for like Fourteen years I've been having like on and off bowel issues and also like burning of the stomach, burning of the chest, burning in the back of my throat there from time to time. And also had like um some blood in my stool from time to time. Like for you know, back and forth for the last fourteen years. But the thing was, it hadn't happened or I guess I wanna say flared up. It hadn't flared up in about three or four years. So like a couple of weeks ago, I started like bleeding after I took a poop. You know, it's not a lot of blood, but you know, it's blood. It's blood in the toilet, a little blood on the tissue, uh, more blood than I would like in, like, look like it's in this, like, on top of the stool. So I was like, why is this back? You know what I mean? I thought this was done. So, you know, at this point, I'm not hiding nothing from my doctors. You know, they told me I had cancer. I don't know if it's connected to my cancer. I don't know anything. I'm getting this checked out. I don't, I don't see. Thing about me, I don't play no games. I'm a I'm a hypochondriac. I have health anxiety to to begin with. So if something not right, I, so I finally got that checked out, man. That was good. Stomach, rectum, colon, small intestine, large intestine, all that was clear. I'll have real bad acid reflux. That's all they're saying. I got to get a handle of that. Change change my eating. Um. But this is where I'm at now, guys. Um, stick around. I'll be making more videos um, to show my my process of what how I'm beating this thing. Because I am beating this thing. I will beat this thing. I haven't, like I said, I haven't started my treatments yet. But I'll let y'all know about these upcoming appointments. Probably hurt my kids upstairs going crazy. Um, but not only, I didn't forget about my people with the dizziness. <laughs> So now I got cancer and I got dizziness. Just because I got cancer, the dizziness didn't go away. So I'm still here with y'all too. Um, I'm still going to see that chiropractor. I'm just waiting a little bit. You know, something else, of course, came up. Um, so when I get time, I am going to get go to that chiropractor once I figure out what treatments they want me to do for the cancer. Um, and I'll let y'all know if the chiropractor thing worked. If it did then that might be a solution for all of us, hopefully. And for my people with lymphoma or any other type of cancer, I'm right here with you. I'll be fighting with you. Fight with me. I'll be praying for you. Pray for me. And we're going to beat it. That's the attitude I will have. We're going to kill it. My my oncologist, I like him. He's a, he's a straight up guy and he's, he's right to the point. I said I told him a couple of weeks ago. I said it could be in my stomach. I've been feeling so nauseous. I've been my stomach's been cramping every day. I was like, could it be in my? Could it go? Could it be, been spread to my stomach? He was like, yeah. We're just gonna kill it. But I've been having back pain. Could it went to my lungs or spine? He was like, it could have. But we're gonna kill it. And that's his attitude. I love this guy. I wish this guy was my primary care doctor. He was. He 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 is. He is good. He's a good guy, and he's serious about his job, and he hates cancer. <laughs> That's another reason I love him. But um, I let this video go on longer than I wanted it to. Um, yeah, I will make another video hopefully within a week or so, and let y'all know more information. But keep fighting people look i survived you see that blood that is blood of a warrior <laughs> i'm stupid all right guys talk to you later